So this is where I'm staying at in Sierra Leone in Freetown. This uh, driveway is super steep. I've never seen so much a steep driveway before. But today I'm going to check out the town. Supposedly Freetown in Sierra Leone is much better than Monrovia, Liberia. So the beaches are nicer and uh, I'm going to go try to get a visa right now. So I managed to avoid staying with John last night and came to Daniela's place who's Italian. That was quite the scenario last night. I uh, never encountered such a scenario before. So basically, John came at midnight to the bus station to pick me up, but then the people on the bus were protective of me and they didn't want me to go with John, and so I decided that I kind of chickened out and I didn't go to John because I was suspicious about him too. So I ended up staying um, with Daniela and following that original plan. And uh, John brought the National Guard and the policemen to uh, try to prove his point that he was a good person, but I still didn't go with him. And then Daniela told me and explained that she didn't like him either, so I'm glad I didn't choose that option last night. So here in Freetown, in Sierra Leone, just uh, getting a ride to Bada Mongo. What's your name? Alaji. Alaji. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for the ride. <laughs> so, nice town. Yeah. So now I have to wait today for my Liberian visa and then tomorrow I'm going to work on my Sierra Leone visa which is actually strange because I'm already here but I still have to go to the immigration office and pay. So here's the countryside, actually the city still but it's uh, on the outskirts. Very mountainous over here so uh, interesting environment for sure. So this is the room where I'm staying here in Freetown, Sierra Leone. And this is the bathroom here. It's equipped with hot water. And this is the kitchen area. Something full of insults. <laughs> You've not been here before in this part of Freetown? No, this is part of the town I came here earlier today. <laughs> So I was finally able to meet John over here in his office two days later and we, had, we sure had a difficult uh, start. Yeah. Well, it's a normal thing. I think it's quite a good experience and uh, yeah, that's was, crazy fun, yeah? Yeah, very unusual, but <laughs> we still accomplished meeting each other. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for the information about Fez. So, okay, you're welcome. I'll, I'll try to contact him. You do, you do. Yeah. He's a nice guy. Yeah, so you always learn something new in each country. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright, so now I'm in uh, Freetown, Sierra Leone. Big cotton tree is behind me. It's uh, 200 years old. Really famous area. It was renovated by AfriCell. And it's a nice place here. So continue dancing around the road. <laughs> Alright, John. Hey, nice to meet you. Yeah, just. So, uh, thanks for the information. And, You're welcome, uh, visit. Finally, definitely, in front of the cotton tree. Yeah. So uh, this is Freetown. Freetown, Sierra Leone. Freetown, Sierra Leone. This was, this, uh, this was named 
uh, freedom because they brought the, the, the slaves from the Nova Scotia and the Americas. Oh, so that's why it was named freedom. The British brought them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that, there's actually some uh, history with uh, the North America. Exactly. And is your family from North America? No, I no. My originally I'm an ethnic of Sierra Leone. Oh, okay, yeah. so you never got your family never went over. Well, it's hard to tell, but uh, there are some history of slaves who have connections still with America. Oh, okay, a lot of them. Ah, yeah. Interesting. All right. Okay. Well, I'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the upstairs of the place where I'm staying at. It has a lot of African decoration and furniture. And here's the dining room. And here's a third bedroom that's here. And then this is Daniela's bedroom with the mosquito net overhanging the bed. And the bathroom. Normal style bathroom. So here's a hippo carved out of wood. An elephant carved out of wood. And back to my bedroom.